Okay, here's the second game in trying to beat the tilt. So, got to really control the creative thinking brain and logicalize stuff. And again, this is an unusual movement. This is not what we see in our usual game. So, the pawn is down. And I'm just going to develop the knight. Okay, so he's looking to challenge our pawn. So, I'm going to actually just push onto his pawn. Sorry, challenge our knight. Sorry. So it's a bit of an unusual way of getting to this position. So if he takes our knight off the board, then this, um, well, I suppose the queen's there protecting. So I don't, don't think we need to lose too much sleep over that. Could develop our bishop out and attack his knight. If his bishop takes, pawn takes. Could move the knight and attack his bishop. But that's like, mm, it's too much, isn't it? If we push here, then at least the queen can defend. Let's just push here. That was getting a bit too arty, that. It's probably a move, but it's. let's get our pieces out. The more we keep them jammed in, the worse it's going to be for us, I think. Okay, so he's pushed past, so he's locked down, so he's... In my head, I'm thinking, well, he might have lost a bit of tempo in terms of developing another minor piece, like this pawn here, giving him space for castling. So can we take advantage of that? We're looking to go and castle, so he's moved his piece now, so he's behind tempo-wise, because now we're castle before him, and we're playing black. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do something about this. I'm going to push on to the bishop. Is he one of those that's brave and wants to open up the... No, not yet. Is he brave if we push here? Is he one of those that wants to open up the space around our king? Do we want to take that chance? I feel like attacking his bishop. That's what I feel like doing. My bishop's stuck on the back. Could attack his bishop. I feel like attacking his bishop. I'm actually going to do that. before I think about pushing here because this bishop has the power base here to do the attacks more viciously supporting any rook attacks or queen attacks potentially coming down so he's moved it out of the way so now we need to be mindful mm -hmm. anything else Bring the knight up, attacking his bishop. Bring the knight up, attacking the bishop. Need to. Tr I'm trying to get rid of the pieces around my king, or threatening some sort of presence around the king. I think he might even go there because if we did take, then it opens up that pawn for that. He does as well, or she. Hmm. Okay. If we push. Got to be careful, knight's still got space to be able to come back here. We're not taking this because we're not going falling into all of that trap again of creating that for them. If we push, I feel like pushing here. I don't really see that being too much of a problem. So if you don't know what I mean, if we take here, then he takes here, then it is opening up this file, and then they start bringing their pieces into the game around there, challenging your king. My pieces are stuck on the other side of the board, so it's not really going to be beneficial for us. Uh, can't really go there, can't go there, we know we're coming back here, so let's do that. We can touch here, the rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board, but again, it would be wrong tempo. We'd have to get this bishop here to support that, but his knight will take. Okay, so I'm going to bring the bishop here to support that anyway. Knight takes, queen takes, and we've still got the support. We can push, but then that might not work because it's a rook for a bishop, so that's not going to work. 
but we're trying to make some sort of presence it looks a bit ugly and scrappy I might do a reversal and bring everything back I'm for some reason I'm just taking I'm just taking uh, yeah so he does take with his bishop can bring the bishop back to attack has he got anything else or does he just come back here do we just go backwards and forwards he's looking for his pawn to come here can our knight get to safety so if we bring it here and he brings his pawn down knight can come here then it can also come here as well okay let's attack the bishop maybe risk averse to taking so it goes there I suppose we can push the pawn upon him then so take it easy I do think oh it's um ah oh, okay so he's gonna open up the rook it's opening up the rook pawns there pawns there um, my white square bishop's not in the game at all is it I don't have to take his bishop I can still attack again or I can keep pushing the pawn up it does give him time to maneuver so am I going to attack it again he can always just move here or move back to here again trying to keep it simple but they may change their um, attack process you know the, we'll see we just need to see what they're going to do yeah so it's just going backwards and forwards so let's just see make sure there's anything else and I'm just going to attack him again and I'm going to attack them again and again and it's a draw okay so that's the second game in the tilt um, sorry how to get rid of tilt and we basically and um, they've asked for a rematch uh, I'm not sure on a tilt thing going for a rematch I don't know um, I think I might swerve that one yeah so the general idea is really about tuning into the pause moments and looking at the creative brain what can the person potentially do to you not getting carried away with what they can potentially do to you but then also not ignoring it because looking at what they can potentially do will stop you from making those nasty moves such as like the knight um, taking the bishop earlier on or the bishop taking the bishop earlier on to open up this pawn you know then obviously the rook then coming down and attacking towards the king side area when your pieces are on the other side of the board these small tiny details are what the opponent is trying to lull you into so again this is the second game where we've gone okay let's control the creative thinking on both both our sides and then logicalize it a little bit and get a good balance between the two so then at least look at the advantages you may have or may not and in this case here there was no clear advantage so the opponent made the same move so we made the same move so it ended up being a draw so it wasn't a loss so again it's, it's beating that tilt